This ministry content is brought to you by the partners of Terry Savelle Foy Ministries. It all boils down to building a reputation with yourself that you keep your word to you. You know, years ago, my dad heard this in prayer. If you'll keep your word to yourself, you'll never question whether or not God will keep his word to you. Happy New Year! I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. This is going to be your record-breaking year. You are going to be more focused, more disciplined, achieve new goals, and get there faster than you ever dreamed possible in Jesus' name. That's my prayer for you. And I'm going to show you how. Plus, I want to share with you the word the Lord gave me for this year. And I believe it'll help you tremendously to just stay focused. But first, let me tell you a wild story I read from Rory Vaden to bring in this topic of changing your life one tiny step at a time. Rory said that when he was a young boy, he had a problem with remembering to lock the front door. It seemed like once a week, he would leave the house for school without remembering to lock the door. Well, since he was being raised by a single mom who went to work early in the mornings and his older brother left a few hours before he did, it was up to Rory to make sure the house was locked. Well, time after time, his mom would come home from work for lunch and find out that again, Rory left the door unlocked. Over and over, his brother and his mom would sit him down and explain how dangerous it was to leave the house wide open. Each time, Rory would swear that he understood and they could count on him to lock it. Well, for whatever reason, he'd start out locking it and then gradually forget. And then it happened. One day, he was the last to leave the house, and after school, he was the first one home. Rory said he'll never forget the fear that just gripped his heart when he walked up to the house only to find the front door wide open. He peeked into the living room, and it had been completely ransacked. The couch was flipped over, pillows were everywhere, and the TV was missing. Tears began pouring down his face. He slowly tiptoed around the corner into his room. The TV, VCR, Nintendo, stereo, all of it was gone. He dropped his backpack, ran out the door with his heart pounding, tears streaming, knees trembling. He ran to a neighbor's house and called his mom. A few moments later, his mom pulled in the driveway. He ran into her arms crying, saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, mama. But on his mom's face was a warm, but unusual smile. About that moment, behind his mom's car, a truck pulled in. It was loaded with furniture and electronics. At that moment, he realized who had robbed their house. His mother! (laughs) He kept crying, but this time with frustration and anger mixed with a little relief that they hadn't been robbed. Once he calmed down, Rory's mom explained that she did that to teach him a memorable lesson on the consequences of his behavior and the importance of the simple habit of locking the door. And now Rory is a bit fanatical about locking every door he enters. But Rory's point was this. His mom was willing to go to the level of the ridiculous so that he would learn the habit. Now, here's my question for you. Are you willing to do something that seems ridiculous to establish some habits this year that lead to your big goals? You know, Rory said that experience ingrained a major lesson lesson in his life forever. For what it's going to take to make things better, we must be willing to go to the level of the ridiculous. It's the habit that's important. You've probably heard me share what I learned from John Asaraf on reduce it to the ridiculous. But here's the thing. What looks ridiculous now will be rewarding later. You know, I heard a story from Patrick Bet David. He was talking about when he was in the army, his buddy started investing $25 a week and told Patrick he should do it too. Patrick said, no, that's not going to make a difference. But his friend kept preparing for his future. He went from 25 to 50 to $75 a week. Three years later, he had $18,000 set aside for when he got out of the army. He was proactive. He was ready to start his life. Patrick had nothing. He said he spent it all on junk food and tequila. (laughs) Well, I want to help you get the habits that will enable you to reach your big goals this year. And the way I started and still do was simply setting 
30-day challenges for myself in tiny areas. This has helped me more than anything to achieve my goals and become disciplined. Did you know that you can change the major areas of your life this year with a 30-day challenge? Your fitness, your choices of food, your relationships, your habits, your spending, you name it, by starting with a 30-day challenge in one tiny area. You know, I started doing my own little 30-day challenges a few years ago just because I wanted to try some things. Well, some of them were simply a one-month experiment, but others stuck, and it's been 10 years, even 20 years of consistency. And these habits have helped me achieve some major fitness goals, save significant amounts of money. Um, they've opened doors of opportunity to me that I know I wouldn't have had without these habits. For example, just the 30-day challenge that I set to read, just read, even if all I could do was five minutes every day, has literally caused me to grow so much in my career that it led to being invited to basically share my knowledge with thousands of people on stages across the globe. Isn't that crazy to think? Me setting a goal to read five to 20 minutes a day, every day for a month, led to two months, three months, and that was in 2002 and I've never stopped. Reading led to learning, learning led to growing, and growing led to opportunities to teach what I've learned. In Russia, France, England, Australia, Scotland, and I'll be in South Africa in March. And it all began with a simple 30-day challenge to read. That sounds ridiculous. Hey, it's Terry, your cheerleader of dreams. Have you ever wondered why successful people spend time alone? And what do they do behind closed doors with nobody around that makes them so successful? Well, after reaching an all-time low in my life of living paycheck to paycheck, on the verge of a divorce, having no dreams or goals to reach, and every year was just a repeat of the year before. But one day, I decided to start a routine, a simple routine, in private, and it led me to discovering my purpose, setting and reaching goals, getting successful habits, and now showing others how to live their dreams in public. You know, they say people are rewarded in public for what they practice in private. You may have heard it this way. God can't use you publicly until you get victory privately. Well, I want you to discover exactly what successful people are practicing in private. These habits give them an extraordinary advantage. I call it the alone advantage. And I'm telling you, you will grab a do not disturb sign as fast as possible. That's the title of my new book, The Alone Advantage, where I reveal 10 simple behind the scenes habits that will lead you to wake up with vision, have clear goals lined up and exciting to go after. You will never look at your life the same way again. You'll realize you have a purpose and a limited amount of time to fulfill it. I'm simply a product of my product. Once I started these habits behind closed doors, I began to dream. That led to overcoming a poor self-image and building my confidence, which led to getting ready for my dream and then living my dreams. And when you apply these habits in private, get ready. God's word says your father who sees what is done in private will reward you. God just needs a little time with you alone. I don't want you to go another year wondering what God's unique plan is for your life or frustrated with not knowing if your dreams are just your dreams or what God wants you to pursue. I'll answer all these questions in the new book and you will gain clarity, confidence, and a courageous new mindset to go after your dreams. So when you pre-order the new book, you will instantly get access to 10 free bonus videos where I reveal the 10 behind the scenes habits as my thank you for purchasing this new book. So go to thealoneadvantage.com and get your copy today. I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. So how could your life change by experimenting with a few 30-day challenges that cause you to grow exponentially? Oh, and you're gonna love your free download this week. I put together, you ready for this? A brand new list of 100 ideas for you to pick from to start your own 30-day challenge. This is one tiny at-home step that can change your life in one month. You'll have fun with this because we love reaching new goals. And what happens is when you do a 30-day challenge, no matter how ridiculous it may look, it builds your confidence in yourself that you are disciplined. 
You are. You can do anything for 30 days. It's going to build so much confidence in you that you'll want to tackle another one and another one. What if you adopted 12 new habits this year or even six? Think of how much better your life will be one year from right now. So all you have to do is click the link in the description to browse through this list and decide which one you want to challenge yourself with to start. And let me explain why these 30 day challenges are so vital in changing you this year. Do you know the number one way you improve your identity and build your confidence to believe for bigger dreams is this. It all boils down to building a reputation with yourself that you keep your word to you. You know, years ago, my dad heard this in prayer. If you'll keep your word to yourself, you'll never question whether or not God will keep his word to you. This is where confidence comes from. You do the things you say you're going to do. Even if it's reading one page, not even five minutes, just one page, then you just built a reputation with yourself that you are a reader. You drink one bottle of water, not eight, but you are building a reputation with yourself that your health is important to you and you never skip a bottle of water. Why is this so important? You have to believe in you to be successful. You build a winning streak of keeping your promise to yourself. And it all starts with a 30 day challenge that you can commit to. So click the link in the description and number one, pick a challenge or two. Number two, write it down. This means you're serious. Number three, get a wall calendar and track it. Just start by making one single promise to yourself, then build on it. Okay, and real quick, before I share with you my word for the year, I wanna ask you to do a favor for me. I wanna know if you want me to continue providing these weekly videos this year. And when you subscribe, it lets me know you're enjoying them. So if you don't mind, would you take one second to just push the black subscribe button below? And if so, I wanna say thank you so much for doing that. And I will do my best to keep providing quality content to build your faith for your dreams. Okay. So on October 1st of last year, the day after my birthday, I was in my home study with my journal and these words just came up in my heart and were just flowing out of me so fast. So I wanna share this word for the new year with you. Oh, and you can access this when you click the link in the description to get your free download of 130 day challenges. Okay, 2024, this is what the Lord put on my heart. 2024 will be a record breaking year. For those who hold my word near, you'll achieve more, receive more, and walk in new doors as never before. Discipline and focus are the keys that turn the knob. You simply focus on the vision and trust me to do my job. Take action and avoid distraction. Give like never before and you'll live like never before. If you're gonna break some records one by one, it will demand doing some things you've never done. Don't talk yourself out of something new. Talk yourself into doing what you know to do. Define your goal and decide the actions to take. Give me your faith and new records will break. Get your expectancy through the roof and you'll break records as solid proof. Isn't that good? That was just coming out of me so fast. So that's in your download if you want to access that. And here's the scripture the Lord led me to to hang on to for this year. It's 1 Corinthians 2, 9. This is what it says. What no one ever saw or heard, what no one ever thought could happen is the very thing God prepared for those who love him. I'm hanging on to this word and this scripture for this year, and I hope you do too. And as we start some of these 30 day challenges, we're doing things we've never done and we'll break records one by one in Jesus name. Thank you for being with me today. I am cheering you on to live your dreams. Hello, it's John Maxwell here and I am so excited to be a part of the next conference hosted by Terry Savelle Foy. It's happening on January 19th and 20th in Rockwall, Texas, just outside of Dallas. At the next conference, we'll dive deep into the mindset and principles you need to successfully lead your business, your ministry, and your life in 2024 and beyond. It's all about staying ahead of the curve, my friends. We've all felt the winds of change, haven't we? I mean, the world is evolving faster than ever, and it's up to us to adapt, innovate, and lead in these challenging times. And that is why the next conference is so important. During this conference, I'll be teaching principles and strategies 
that will empower you to lead your business, your ministry, and your life with intentionality and excellence. And together, we'll jumpstart your journey towards success for 2024. This is where you'll find the inspiration, the knowledge, and the connections to take your leadership to new heights. So, what are you waiting for? Mark your calendars for January 19 and 20 for the next conference in Rockwall, Texas with me and Terry Savelle Foy. Remember my friends, leadership is not a destination, it's a lifelong journey. And together, at the next conference, we'll set you on a trajectory for success and make 2024 the year that transforms your leadership and your life. Go to terry.com and get registered today. I'll see you there.